Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It is October 23rd, 2023 at 3 p.m. This is a meeting of the Bylaw Review Committee. Is there a motion to bring the meeting to order? Second. Second. We have a yes and a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 And I'm we are now in session. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, today we are discussing the new proposed sewer bylaw. Uh, and Mr. Kelly, if you'd like to run over some notes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, this is an amendment to the cur current sewer bylaw. It's uh, been uh, suggested because the current bylaw was very confusing about how certain fees were to be assessed. And it became uh, very uh, evident that we needed to clarify what fees are to be charged and when those fees are to be charged. And it's a matter of equity uh, to make sure that everyone pays their fair share. Uh, as you know, betterment assessments uh, to properties are uh, whenever a betterment project is undertaken by the town, there is a, uh, a sewer betterment, there is a charge to the folks along that project. That will not change. However, the, this amendment establishes certain new fees. A compensatory sewer privilege fee, which will be charged to any property located where a betterment project was completed and the property was assessed, but then later, sometime after the betterment project was completed, the property is subdivided and additional sewer units are added to that property. The second fee that was established is a sewer connection privilege fee. That's to be charged to any property that ties into the sewer system. The only properties not to be charged this fee when they tie in are those that are subject to the betterment assessment fee. And then the third fee is a private sewer extension privilege fee. And that's to be charged to a development developer who is putting in an extension to the sewer system. And that's composed of three parts, an application fee, a permit fee, and a betterment main extension privilege fee. These uh, private sewer extension privilege fees are charged only to the developer of the extension of the main sewer line and not to the original property owners. Once the extension is complete and ready for individual properties to tie in, each property tying in will be charged a sewer connection privilege fee whenever any such tie-in occurs. So it really fills in a area that wasn't addressed before. And it makes it fair not only for the people that are now paying the sewer rates, but for people in the future that are tying in. And it helps the town to deal with future maintenance costs. Perfect. Anything else, Mr. Kelly? That's it. All right. Well, thank you for the uh, explanation. Um, as a member of the Board of Selectmen, this was kind of in our peer review to put this forward. So we, we've been over this quite a few times, and I have to say that I think it's a good idea for the town um, so we can actually recoup some of the revenue that we were losing uh, because of this, but it also makes it very fair to people that have to pay towards a betterment 
like he was explaining about the developers, instead of paying five different total betterments, they are a little bit more streamlined. Um, and I think the town de definitely needed it. Um, anybody else? Just to, with Bradford Street, um, how did that, how was that figured? Because I. That was a DPW, and this oh. takes that that type of situation and not only makes it more equitable, yeah. but it gives you a system of fees that you can charge rather than just picking something out of the air. And how are those fees established? The selectmen will establish They will fees. establish, okay. That was gonna be my question, is what are the fees and how are they established? Well, the existing fees are already established. So these new fees, then it would go through the whole fee process before the uh, water and sewer commissioners who are the board of selectmen. Good. And I believe Mr. Kelly and has already started working on some structure and pulling some history from other communities to make that work and keep it fair, right. but also make sure we can cover our costs. And uh, the board used Attorney Garatowski is uh, a consultant. He's the expert in it, and he will be consulting with the board. Okay. I, I think it's good. I mean, it definitely makes it clearer uh, on who is required to pay what and um, yeah I think it's anything that causes less confusion is better yeah yeah it, it better defines yes which I agree, I agree. Um, the only other thing uh, that was brought to our attention Miss Labonte pointed out there are a few small grammatical and section errors in here, but it's all simple fixes. It's, um, it's a Scrivener error when it was transported from the attorney's office here, and uh, we can take care of that. Okay. okay. That makes me happy. <laughs> <laughs> I know it does. Uh, anything else? No, no, I, I'm good. I, I think this is good for the town. I think it it definitely um, gives a better direction um, for those that are going to be either tying in or um, those that um, are in the process of trying to develop some properties. Yep. So, yeah. Mr. Francois? Yeah. I, again, I agree. I think it uh, makes things much clearer. Uh, who pays what and when. Yep. Um, so I am all in favor. Um, and I'm also all in favor, so at this point I would entertain a motion to approve, endorse the, endorse the uh, proposed sewer amendment. I will make a motion to endorse the proposed sewer amendment for uh, town meeting. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Endorsed. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Do I have a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 We are adjourned.